Okay. Uh, welcome to the Ability Uganda e-learning. Uh, my name is Nelson Bitswamba. Uh, in today's video, uh, we shall be looking at uh, finding the volume and area of a cuboid. Uh, this is a continuation of our 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 heading that is geometry, uh, shapes and sizes. Uh, so we shall be particularly looking at uh, what you call uh, uh, the volume. Uh, last time we were able to look at uh, the areas and the perimeter of these shapes, uh, these circles. So we had covered that. Uh, if you missed one of our lessons, please uh, be ready to be able to check on our playlist. Uh, for those missed out lessons. Okay, let's get started. Uh, we are saying we are going to look at uh, uh, we are going to look at uh, uh, finding the volume and the area of a cuboid. Uh, that is also identifying and naming uh, the three dimension figures. Uh, this is also part of our three dimension what? Uh, dimension figures. So here we have the cuboid uh, where we want to find out the area and the volume. Okay, before I start, uh, we've been given our formulas V equal to L times W times H, uh, but this in the simple term, let me, uh, in the simple term, this looks at, uh, when we have our V, that is the volume, we have our L, that is the length, I will have our W, that is the width, and we have our height, which is, uh, our H, which is uh, the height. Uh, let me write them here such that everyone can see them and give a reference on them. Uh, we shall be having our V here, which is being equal to our volume. Okay, this is going to be our volume. Our volume. And we have our L. Uh, our L is going to be the length. It's going to be the what? Uh, this is going to be the length. Uh, this is going to be our what? Our length. And we have our W, uh, which is going to be uh, the width. Our W is going to be the width. Okay. This is D. This is I. This is T. H okay the word width and our L our H is going to be our H is going to be uh, the height our H is going to be the what is going to be the height of our figure okay this is going to be the what the height uh, so that's all uh, now here we can give a reference. You are saying our, our V is the volume, our L is the length, uh, our W is the width, and our H is the what? Is the height. So this is uh, the formula that we shall be referring to as far as uh, solving uh, the volume and the area of our figure which is given. Okay. Uh, so we are saying our figure is, uh, is having very many uh, shapes is having very many uh, very many shapes uh, we can see this is a shape on its own and this is also a shape on its own this is a shape on its own uh, they can tell you to find uh, the area of the whole figure or they can tell you to find the area of a particular uh, part we shall also we shall look at uh, how we can solve such a problems. Uh, but here, let's first uh, see how we can find our volume. Uh, being given our formula as uh, the v equals to w, uh, v equals to length times the width this times the height. Uh, now, when you look at our table, our our shape here, uh, the way how it is drawn, uh, this is going to be our length. Okay. This is going to be our length, which is L. Uh, this one is going to be our um, uh, W, which is the width. And also this one is going to be our 
a height uh, which means our height starts from here up to here okay uh, also this one uh, qualified to be our, our height uh, this one is still our height uh, this one is also still our height and this one is also still our height this one our length and that one our length okay so uh, that's how we can identify uh, the height the way the width and the length so now here we shall be able to just only substitute in uh, the values which has been given we can see that our length has been uh, is five centimeters and our width is two centimeters and our height is the three centimeters so you get those values and just substitute in uh, you say our volume may be equal to our length times the width times the height okay so uh, when you multiply five times two five times three you get our what you get our 30 then uh, do not forget the SI unit uh, that is uh, centimeters what centimeters cubed now let's go uh, and look at the area of uh, the shaded what the shaded part yes you can be able to see that in our shape that is given there is a part which is uh, isolated or there is a part which is shaded uh, looking different from the other shapes this shape is the shaded one you can see this one is not shaded and this one is not shaded okay so when they say look uh, or find the area of the shaded part uh, that means we shall be able to look at uh, our area remember the formula of our area last time we said when you are given a shape uh, it, it is length times the what time is the width now here we have been given our our shape which is this uh, where our width shall be shall be our our length shall be three uh, we can first extract this shape uh, from this uh, cuboid uh, this is the shape we are looking at uh, this is the shape okay let me draw it down here uh, this is the shape that we have been given this is the shape that we have been given okay so that this is the shape that we have been given so we can see here we have been given our what our three Okay, here we'll be given our three centimeters. Uh, let me first erase this such so that it can be seen clearly. Okay, we have been given our three there. Okay, uh, we can see this is our three, and also this is our two. Okay, this is our two centimeters. Uh, this is three centimeters okay this is three what three centimeters okay now you can see that this figure here uh, uh, on the whole figure on the whole shape uh, this was our height and this was, was our width so when you look at this figure uh, we said uh, when you have uh, a rectangle this is now our rectangle formed out of this uh, then we can see uh, which one is our width and which one is our height now this one which was our height in in the whole figure of it is going to be our is going to be our um, our width okay as uh, such that this long this long side is going to be our what is going to be our length so this means uh, using our formula where our area is equal, is equal to uh, the length uh, times the uh, times the width uh, then we shall be having our three which is here okay three which is our length uh, times the width which is uh, two centimeters so when you get a, when you multiply these numbers shall be able to come up with a six and you put our SI unit which is the centimeters cubed okay now uh, there are areas where they may tell you to find the area of the whole what the area of the whole figure let's look at how we can find the area of the whole figure 
uh, remember we have been given our our shape in this side I'm going to draw it here this is our shape okay this is our shape which is given this is our shape which is given okay that is our shape which has been given to us and when they tell you to find the area of this uh, shape they will tell you to find the area or they will tell you to find uh, the volume but here we want to find out the area of this shape when you look at this shape uh, we shall see that there is there is some there is some other parts here and you look at this shape okay and also some sides now uh, you can see uh, that in this shape of ours when they tell you to find the area of the whole figure uh, we have this this face okay which is facing this side and also have another face which is facing that uh, side okay and also have another side which is facing uh, this one which is facing this side and also have the other side which is facing that side we also have this uh, which is facing up another one which is facing down so we have to find uh, the area of all these faces okay now uh, when you find the area of these faces uh, remember here we are given the five centimeters uh, here we are given two centimeters two centimeters uh, here there were three centimeters okay okay so uh, here they had just shaded this part uh, that they wanted us to find only but here I want to find out the area of the whole what of the whole circle uh, what we do we count uh, uh, the faces like this area this area the area of this side is the same as the area of uh, this side okay you can see it it is the same as that area uh, so also this area uh, also if we get uh, this area this one is the same as the area of uh, this side okay uh, then you also have uh, the one which is down which is this one uh, so that means we shall get the area of this uh, times 2 the area of this one times 2 so that means we shall be having our first area we shall say uh, 2 uh, our, our first box which is this uh, let me draw it here Okay. Let me draw it here. Uh, we had our three here, our three centimeters, and we had our our two centimeters here. Okay. Uh, we had found we had find out the area of this. Okay. And now we can also come and look here at this uh, this one uh, this this one which is moving this way uh, we can find out and see that it is like this it is like that so you can see from here up to here is three so this is going to be our three centimeters and also this is going to be our five watt five centimeters okay and then we also want to draw another shape here another shape which is this one which is facing up uh, this this one which is facing up it is like this ok 
Okay, it is like this. It is facing up. Okay, so you can see we have our two centimeters here. Two centimeters. And also here we have our five centimeters. Okay, five centimeters. Now, these are the figures. This one is twice with this one, and this one is twice with the other one. This one is twice with the other one. So, we want to get the area of the whole what? Of the whole uh, figure. Now, for us to find the area of the whole figure, uh, we shall have to add. Uh, uh, remember, this is uh, one face. We find the area of this face. Okay. Uh, so, here we shall say, uh, we shall say, uh, our two there are two faces into bracket uh, length uh, times the width okay length times the what times the width and also here it shall go it is going to be our two into bracket uh, the length times uh, the width also here it is going to be two there are two faces to bracket length times times the width okay so we shall be able to find out uh, the answers here uh, the answers here we find we shall be able to uh, add them and we get the area of the whole figure okay now let's try this uh, what is two uh, two into bracket uh, then uh, our three which is the length uh, is going to be our two into bracket uh, 3 uh, times 2 okay into bracket uh, this gives us the answer what is 2 times 3 that is 6 6 times 2 we shall get our answer as 12 of uh, and also here we have uh, 3 times uh, this is equal to uh, 3 times 5 uh, remember this one is uh, there is a two here so here we shall be able to get our answers uh, three times uh, five that is uh, three times five that is fifteen fifteen times two shall get our uh, our that uh, here and also here what is uh, our length our length is five uh, this is the same as two into bracket our five okay five times two so here we shall be able to get our answer as um, five times two ten uh, ten times two twenty uh, all this will be in our centimeters okay this will be in our what in our centimeters this will be in centimeters. Now we have got the what are uh, the areas of uh, both sides. Uh, then uh, for us to get uh, the area of the total figure, area of the total figure uh, will be equal to. This is going to be area. Okay, area. Area of area of the total figure is, be, is going to be equal to our 12 of I mean our yes our 12 of our 12 of okay this is 12 of uh, plus uh, our 30 okay plus our 20 Okay, so this is uh, the addition of this is going to give us the what? Uh, is going to give us our area. So here we shall be able to say our area is equal to the addition of uh, these sub areas. Uh, what is the 20 plus 30? That is 6, uh, 50. Uh, 50 plus 12, that is uh, 62. Our area shall be equal to uh, 62. Uh, centimeters. Okay. 
okay squared ah, the SI unit of area is uh, in square okay uh, but here in volume it is centimeters cubed so this is going to be our centimeters squared because it is area not uh, volume okay simply like that's how we can find the area of the what of the whole figure uh, let's go down and see how we can also find out some other problem uh, here they were telling us to find the volume of a cuboid and the area of the shaded what of the shaded part okay let's uh, try them uh, using the concept that we we, we have uh, that we have learned from up uh, we have our um, have our what we have our three here uh, which is the length and we have our one which is uh, the width and we have our two which is uh, the height okay they are saying Roman number one find the volume we are going to find the volume uh, and also find the area of the shaded part okay let's try it here we are going to find the volume we say the volume is equal to uh, our length uh, times the width Okay, times the width is times the height. Uh, what is our height? How is our length? Our length is three. Uh, our width is uh, is uh, our width is uh, our width is uh, one centimeter. Our height is two centimeter. So we are going to say three times one times two. Okay. So here our volume. Our volume is going to be. Uh, our three times one uh, times two times two uh, then our volume in centimeters cubed is going to be uh, six centimeters centimeters cubed okay so this is going to be our what going to be our volume uh, let's look at how we can get the area of this our area of the shaded part our shaded part is this from here up to here okay now uh, we can see that from here from here this shaded part of ours we have a three um, we have a three and we have our uh, a height now our height is going to be our what is going to be our length and our uh, our our length is going to change to uh, our width depending on how the, the shape is uh, because we have the shape which is in this kind okay our shape is in uh, this kind it is like this okay our shape is like this we have our three centimeters here and we have our two two centimeters so in finding the area uh, our area our area our area is going to be equal to uh, two times times three so we are going to get our area as six centimeters okay six what six centimeters squared so this is going to be our what our area uh, we have been also been given another example here uh, this example they want us to find the area of the shaded part which is this one and also the volume of the shaded part Okay, so uh, with this, uh, I, sh I will be, uh, I'll give it to you as an assignment. Uh, please be able to complete it and put it in our comment section, or uh, you can hand in using our Google Classrooms uh, for us to uh, go and see whether we we are practicing or we are learning together. Thank you very much. For this, I do say thank you very much for uh, watching this tutorial. Uh, please uh, be able to subscribe and check on our playlist uh, like the video thank you very much again
have a good moment.